Hello and welcome to Architesi. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a roof similar to this one is in Revit on a very simple and efficient way. This is a Koyoen house in Japan and you can find the link of the project in the video description. Let's move to Revit. So the first thing I'm going to do in Revit is to link the floor plan. I download it from the web. And then I'm just going to scale it so this distance fit to this number. I can pin it now and I will create a couple of reference planes. They will be 45 degrees, so let's say that this is the first one, we'll name it as O1. Actually the first one can stay here. Then we'll copy that one for, let's see, 345 and then we'll continue. Okay, so we have four of them. And what I'm also going to do just to have a better overview with the modeling, I will just create a couple of grids and they're going to be perpendicular to, to our reference planes. So the first one will start here. Now I'm going to copy them with the same distance as it is between the reference planes. Okay, and let's just create one section parallel with with our reference plane. We don't need a clip, neither crop. Now I'm going to start with the modeling roofs and I will take the roof by extrusion and the first reference plane and we'll make it with this start and radius arc. So let's see in 3D what we have here and let's just create the second level so we have a better overview and because I did everything in the second level I can just copy this floor plan to the second level and I will now just extend my roofs okay Let's go to the second level again and now I'm just going to create a couple of shafts. So the first one is going to be here. This seems fine excluding this part here but no worries I will try to fix it with the other shaft. So let's just create similar and let's make the one more shaft. So yeah, this seems fine and if you, if you look at the sections it looks a bit thinner. So I'm just going to make this to be 200 millimeters. We just duplicate this one. They look pretty fine. And if you would like to create the diagram as they did and to get the, these planks on the roof, let me show you, you can do that very simply as well. So I will select this roof and we'll make it as a slope glazing. I will just copy this one. I will put empty for the curtain panel and then for the first grid, I will make the fixed distance of let's say 250 millimeters and we'll take this 50 by 150 mullion and you see it's here I will now just go to modify and we'll use match MA is a shortcut basically that was it for today's tutorial if you would like to support us please subscribe to our channel and like this video